All right, it is time to go to the Awakening Wood. We've done everything that we can in the Valley of Repose for now. There are some interesting things to check out. But, uh... Honestly, I don't really care about checking them out right now. I just want to play the game. Saw a strawberry. Good morning. It should please you to know the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hull. The confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. Can robots be tickled? Stand in the ring of light below me and press blah to call the purple Pikmin out. <laughs> Louie, has Olimar instructed you on the peculiarities of the Pikmin creatures? The Pikmin form groups based on color when disbanded with Blah. Grabbing Pikmin with Blah will also cause them to group by color. Now for the bonus lesson. First, hold Blah to pick up a Pikmin. Then, while you hold Blah, press Blah to swap between different colored Pikmin. This is the first time you have heard this. Olimar, remember to properly train new employees. Yeah. <clears throat> so the only way I can get purple Pikmin is with a flower. So we're going to save them. It's a strawberry. Sunseed berry. Yeah, okay. Astounding. This red berry contains an ultra spicy essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me more specimens. So they can't last that long. That's annoying. All right, cool. <clears throat> Captain Olimar, my research on the red berries you discovered has yielded a powerful portion. Behold the ultra spicy spray. Although it is untested, I believe it will have spectacular results. Spray it on all of your Pikmin by pressing down on Blah. 
when necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from tin berries. Press blah to contact me and confirm your berry count by pressing left on blah. Well, haven't really done a whole lot this day. Yeah, I can't uh, do that yet, so. Oh my gosh! Oh, he got another purple. That was annoying. Found another one. Olimar, Louis, the sun will be setting soon. Call all of the Pikmin to you. This planet's native nocturnal life forms are ferocious and therefore dangerous. Load your Pikmin into the onion and yourselves into my hull so we can take refuge in low orbit. Pikmin in your squad will enter the onion on their own at day's end, so call them all to you. Yeah. Low value day. We lost purple Pikmin, which sucks. But it is what it is. Let's see if I remember the voice. How's progress, Olimar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Press blah for a close-up view of the action. You mean, kind of like how you're sitting back and watching from afar? You know? As most presidents of companies do. Stone of Glory. Alright, that is it for this floor. How nice of them to just give me purple Pikmin for free and have absolutely nothing else going on on this floor. Is that really all that there is for this floor? Wow. Okay.
Okay, so this is what I thought was going on in the last game was you could destroy those. Uh, it turns out that it's this game. Alright, hold on. This looks like a trap. It's a Mahjong tile. <clears throat> Strife Monolith. Yeah, something seems like a trap here. It's a floppy disk. This has Nintendo on it. That'll be the day. Cosmic Archive. Alright, Louie. Take us down. What the heck? <clears throat> Dream Architect. Anyone in the comments know what deck this would be from if it's labeled from Nintendo? The Luck Wafer. Alright, well, that's it for this floor. Um, how deep does this go? Ah, oh, great. Pretty sure this is a uh, boss fight here. Yeah. Really? There's no perp, or there's none of the other one in here. Okay, so. I have an idea. I'll take some flower purples. Maybe. So if I just throw this one at him. So it's not like this guy can really do much. All right, this is gonna get a little annoying. Yeah. This guy isn't particularly difficult. But he does take a while, unfortunately.
Oh, that's disturbing. Love tester? How bizarre. This device is emitting black light. It must have been ingested by that creature. What an absolutely repulsive life form. Our return to Hokitate cannot come soon enough. Prototype detector. I wonder if this is going to let me find treasure easier. That's a, well, uh, yeah. This contraption seems to react when it approaches treasure. I will connect it to my radar. Processing complete. The treasure gauge is now fully operational. It will now appear on your monitor. The needle will move right as you approach the treasure. Oh, that's funny. Still no white Pikmin. So I'm curious what I'm supposed to get then, because... I can't really proceed. I did complete the cave, though. Now I'm going to put my purple Pikmin away to preserve them. 20% of debt already recovered. But hey, now I have 55 perfectly fine flower reds. Astounding. My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? If you find trouble below, press blah to contact me and press right on blah on the radar screen. The exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you, Louie, and the Pikmin to safety. Well, I am going to enter this chasm uh but it's gonna have to hit a new episode because uh this is gonna get to be a very long recording uh so stay tuned for part two of day what four three something like that